Hi, the goal of today's video is going to be to add roles to our different users such that we can have different views based on who's logging in. For instance, we would like to have an administrator be able to perform certain operations that a normal user could not. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is modify our database to add to the user table a role field. So let's do this by opening up MySQL. So our user table. Let's look at the structure. So we have user ID, username, password, hash. Let's add now a new field after password hash, which we will call role. So now the type in enum for an enumeration. Let's edit the set values. We will have admin and user roles. We can remove the two other ones and save. If we look at the structure again, Good, now we have role which can be chosen, selected from admin or user. Looking at our different records, both are currently in the admin role. Let's make John Doe only a user. So when you edit these fields, you get a drop down list, which makes sense. Good. Going back to the application. Now what we want to accomplish is have different users have different views based on when they log in. So I would like to have say the administrative view for this user and for John Doe. If we had the other view for users. So what we will start uh, by implementing for this purpose is going to be a change in the filters that we had introduced in a previous video. So our core filter PHP class, we have a login filter which verifies if a user is logged in or not. Now that's going to be good enough for the user views. So anybody who's logged in is in fact a user. So good to filter for any user. However, if we want to verify someone is an administrator, we would need to have a verification of the role. So let's call that admin filter. And now what we want to verify is if the role is not administrator then we can redirect to somewhere else. So if the role is not admin, then redirect somewhere else. Maybe this URL will change and otherwise do not redirect. Good. So we save this admin filter and now let's go apply this admin filter on our product catalog, the product controller. So we have the admin filter. The admin filter is applied throughout the entire product catalog. So now what we need to do is modify how the login controller works so that we record the role of the person who is logging in, not only their user ID. So role for the session is going to be the role from the database. Good. Now, as far as the default role goes, we could record it here or then again, go back to the table to actually set up a default role for users. So if we look at the structure, we look at the role field, we change it to provide a default value, which is going to be user. 
save that. Good. This is the default. Okay, so if I were to actually register a user, Jane, she should now be registered as a user. Jane is a user. Good. So let's log in as Jane. And we get redirected back. That's fine. With the other account, we go to the product catalog. So we've accomplished um, integrating roles into our application. I hope you enjoyed this short video and have a good day.